Hello all. In today's video, we will see what is sampling with replacement and sampling without replacement. In our video on sampling distribution, we had seen that if we have a population size capital N and sample size small n, then the number of samples that we can get in case of sampling with replacement was 9 and in case of sampling without replacement was 3. At that time, I had just briefly covered what is sampling with replacement and sampling without replacement. In today's video, I will cover both in more depth. Now coming to sampling with replacement. In case of sampling with replacement, a sampling unit is drawn from a population and is returned to that population after its characteristics have been recorded before the next unit is drawn. So let us consider we have a population with population size 3 and we want to draw a sample with sample size 2. So we will first draw a sampling unit, record its characteristics and then replace it back to the population. In sampling with replacement, we might end up selecting and measuring the same unit more than once. So in the next draw, we might end up selecting the previous sampling unit or other two units. Thus, items in the sample are independently drawn from the population. The number of samples that we can get in case of sampling with replacement are given by population size raised to the sample size. So in this case, we will get a total of 9 samples. Now coming to sampling without replacement. In sampling without replacement, a sampling unit is drawn from a population and is not returned to that population after its characteristics have been recorded before the next unit is drawn. So we will draw a sampling unit record its characteristics and we will not replace it back to the population. So in the next draw, we might end up selecting either of the two remaining sampling units. Thus, each draw is not independent. The number of samples that we can get in case of sampling without replacement are given by n combination small n, which is equal to 3. So we will get 3 samples. Let us see when do we require sampling without replacement. So if you are carrying out an opinion poll for forthcoming elections, we do not want the same person to be interviewed twice. Hence in this case, we will resort to sampling without replacement. This is an example of sampling without replacement. To recap once again, in case of sampling with replacement, each draw is independent and one unit can be selected multiple number of times. Whereas in case of sampling without replacement, each draw is not independent and one unit can be selected only once. It cannot be selected multiple times. That's all for today. In the next lecture, we'll see random samples and random numbers. Thank you.